What's going on guys? Out here at the shop and uh, today we're gonna make a candle holder. Something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna make a heart-shaped candle holder for Valentine's Day. So uh, we're gonna start off with this piece of 3 16 thick bar stock by 3 quarter inch wide by 36. We're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Two 18 inch pieces. We're gonna start with that and uh, let's go from there. All right, we're gonna use the hot cut tool here. Go ahead and cut it in half so we can have two equal pieces. All right, now we're gonna put our curl on the end of our bar. And we're gonna do this on both sides and then uh, turn it on its back and start curling it over. Now when we do the other side, we're gonna flip it over and put the curl the opposite way of this curl. All right, now we're gonna start curling the other end. And this is kind of the gap that I'm shooting for on both ends. And remember to, to, to curl it the opposite way of the other curl. All right, we're gonna start putting our first bend in. We're gonna put, made a little jig here with uh, two round pieces of stock and a socket. So we'll put our first bend in there so that way we have an even bend. And also the same on the other side going the opposite way, almost like an S hook. Oh, that was close. Yep, dropping stuff in the shop does happen. All right, now we are going to take that bend, put it on the opposite side and do a bend coming in. We're also gonna do this on the other side doing the same way. So it's going to be an S hook to an S hook. All right, now I got a piece of uh, inch round stock in the vise just to kind of refine that curve on off both that side and the other side for both pieces. All right, now we're gonna do the same process for the other piece of stock. Again, with the curve in the front, opposite curve on the other end. And I chose to leave this footage in just to kind of get a different viewpoint with a couple different angles. All right, we got two matching pieces. You may have to do a little bit of refining on each just to kind of match them up. So we're gonna go ahead and weld the top and the bottom with a couple tack welds on there. Make sure those hold. All right, now we're gonna trace out our mounting plate for our candle holder out of some eighth inch thick, uh, just some basic sheet metal. And also our 
candle holder top where our candle will actually be resting on. All right, now off to the belt sander here for a few, just to round the corners off on each piece. Now we're gonna take our candle top and we're going to beat it in uh, to this piece of wood so it can create that concave look on the sheet metal now if you do have a swage block this would obviously be ideal but i do not have one so the more you impress it into the wood while it's hot the more it's going to create that concave look for that metal now we're just going to center our piece onto our mounting plate and go ahead and weld that up make sure it's nice and straight and we're going to throw a couple of tack welds on to the top plate as well and finally, finish it off with a couple of coats of black spray paint, and we're good to go. It's all done. Really enjoy the way this came out. If you guys want any more of these videos and watch the process of these, make sure you like and subscribe.